What's up guys? So today what I want to talk to you is about adding modifiers. Now I'm going to add this, uh, I'm going to use the Logitech X56 for this and what modifiers uh, allow you to do is they allow you to double or even triple the amount of controls that you have on your on your HOTAS. So let's say for example you want to bring the landing gear up and down but all you've used up all the uh, buttons and switches on your HOTAS so what you'd want to do in this case is to add a, my, um, add a modifier so you can double your controls. So we'll start by going to the uh, gear symbol here. And then you want to be in controls. And then you want to find your, um, your landing gear. So obviously that's the G key on your keyboard. All right. And what you're going to do here is you're going to go to modifiers down here. You're going to click to add. And you want to click uh, the down arrow here where it says keyboard and you want to choose throttle and then you basically switch it to the knob that you want now the um, the modifier that I'm going to use for the x56 is the uh, the knob on the uh, to the left of the controls which is uh, which you have three settings here you have m1 m2 and s1 now this knob is specifically made for uh, to act as a modifier so that you can triple the amount of buttons and switches that you have on your hotas so I'm just gonna I'm just going to use uh, S1 as an example, the very bottom one. So you go to S1, you switch it to S1, and that's joy button 36. You hit OK. All right. And then you want to hit OK here. All right. And then what you would do is you would go to X56 Hotas right here, the throttle and you would double click on it and then you would add your modifier 36 and then you'd add you'd bind it to a switch on your uh, to a switch or dial or whatever on your on your hotel so i'm going to use it on the throttle i'm going to go to switch two and that's joy button seven hit okay and it should work so let's test it out real quick mission harm test two start now while it's starting I'm gonna go back to M1 the M1 uh, setting on my knob I don't want to go to S1 because if I stay in S1 I won't be able to control the jet so I go to M1 so that I can control your, the jet and then click on fly and then we're going to throttle up And I'll hit F2 just so that we can see what's happening here. And then I'm going to hit S1. And then switch to. And there you go. Landing gear is going up. Now if I want to control most of the jet with what I have my keys bound to. On the uh, HOTAS I'll have to go back to M1. And then I can use everything as normal. Alright. So guys, that's just an example of what you can do. If you play around with this, you'll realize that you can actually set your M1, uh, the M1 setting on your knob to, uh, for example, take off and landing. Uh, M2, you can set it to navigation and radar. And S1, you can set it to air combat maneuvering or, uh, or air to ground. So you can do a lot of things with this. It's a, it, uh, it opens up a world of possibilities in terms of using your HOTAS. So I hope this video helped you. If uh, you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Leave some comments below and let me know what you think. Ciao for now.